Tens of hundreds of people took to streets in Pakistan's Kohistan region as they demanded death penalty to a Chinese national who allegedly committed blasphemy. The Chinese national, who is reportedly working as an engineer in one of the Chinese firms working in the region, allegedly insulted Allah, claiming that laborers had become particularly sluggish in the holy month of Ramadan. Observers who have been closely following the developments in the region said Pakistan is now getting a dose of its own medicine as the blasphemy law has been arbitrarily used by the state to muzzle and marginalize the voices of minorities. And now, Pakistan finds itself in a spot of bother for it is forced to try a person of Chinese nationality. Blasphemy law in Pakistan has always been used to threaten the minority Hindu, Christian, Sikh community into total submission to the Islamic State of Pakistan. And now it has come to bite their own interest. For instance, uh, we see that a Sri Lankan uh, engineer was uh, burnt alive uh, after he was accused of blasphemy. And similarly, this Chinese uh, engineer now has been accused of blasphemy at the Dasu hydropower project in uh, bordering KPK and Gilgit Baltistan. And the reason for uh, these incidents was that both these engineers, the Sri Lankan one and the Chinese one, were complaining about the laziness of the Pakistani workers. China has pumped in massive investment in Pakistan in last few years and this has come despite opposition by the locals, the people living in the illegally occupied regions of Pakistan. Pakistan, in fact, facilitated Chinese endeavors by restraining locals by all means. Kohistan, which is originally a part of illegally occupied Gilgit Baltistan, is present day in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Observers say the locals are still bent on not letting the projects get completed and they will use all tools available at their disposal to stop what they call new form of colonization. The Chinese must understand that CPAC is not going to work and uh, the, the people of Pakistani occupied Gilgit Baltistan, Pakistani occupied Balochistan are never going to let Chinese economic expansion uh, through their lands, the plunder of their lands, the plunder of their natural resources. It's not going to happen. As per different reports, over 1,500 people have been charged with blasphemy in Pakistan in the last two decades alone. The infamous case of Asia Bibi and a Sri Lankan manager who was burnt alive in broad daylight are still fresh in everybody's memory. And while there are numerous socio-economic and political reasons behind blasphemy laws being misused in Pakistan, it is somewhat, if not completely, has to do with Pakistan's illegal occupation in cases of Gilgit Baltistan. Even if the case is proven false, the Chinese and Pakistani duo needs to realize that the locals in the region are completely against their projects and they need to get out of their land before it is too late.